<coughs> hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so before getting into that guys uh, please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video you may miss some changes if i make anything in between so do watch full video and please share this video with your friends and within your student groups so that it, it can reach more people as possible and everyone will get benefited th through this so now let's see the week one assignment for data science for engineers course friends i hope every solution is almost 100 percent correct but uh, if you feel there should be any changes please give your opinion so on solution in the comment section so we will try to sort it out and come to a conclusion but i hope every solution is almost correct guys so now let's see the first solution so first one which of the following variable names are invalid in r so they are asking about the invalid uh, type of names so if you see the first option one underscore variable so you may have uh, come across the rule that so the variable in name should start only with letter but not any number or any special character right so the first one is invalid and if you see the second option so it's clearly starting with v so there is no problem with that it's completely valid and moving on to the third one so it starts with uh, underscore so it is also invalid and moving on to the final option so uh, there is a rule that other than the underscore or dot the variable name should not contain any other special character right so fourth option is also an invalid variable name so first third and fourth options are correct And moving on to the second question so the function ls in r will represent what so for second question the correct answer is second one list all objects in a working environment so mark second option as correct one for second question and moving on to the third one so here they have given a piece of code and uh, this code is same for both third and fourth questions as they have mentioned so now let's see the third one which of the following command is used to access the value shum here they have given uh, the name shum right so which of the following uh, options we should use in order to get the output shum so when i did this i have got the answer as third option so you can also do that in your compiler you will get the same result and moving on to the fourth question the next one so it is also based on the given uh, code snippet only and here's an extension to that so fourth one the output of the code given below is so first you have to uh, set this code in this first image and later you have to uh, insert this uh, code also after that so then you will get which uh, they are asking that which output in the following options you will get so when i did this in my compiler i have got the answer as four that means second option so mark second option as correct answer for fourth question and the next one the fifth question so the fifth one let me read the question what is the output of the following code so here they have given an arithmetic expression 10 plus 5 and 2 percent percentage symbols so they are called modulus and 3 so actually uh, the modulus symbols represent its uh, reminder when 5 is divided by 3 we will get 2 as reminder right so 10 plus 2 is 12 
so but when you execute this the exact option uh, code you will get the answer as double friends i hope every solution is almost correct but if you uh, feel there should be any changes please give your opinion in the comment section so we can uh, come to a conclusion but i hope every solution is correct only now moving on to the sixth one the sixth question state whether the given statement is true or false the library reshape 2 is based around two key functions called as melt and cast so these are I mean the statement is 100% correct that is true now moving on to the seventh question the seventh one so what is the output of the following code so they have uh, here they have used the matrix function and they are uh, they are printing the uh, the variable so when i did this in my compiler i have got the answer as 4 that means second option here so mark second option 4 as correct answer for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one so guys here they have uh, given commonly for both eighth and ninth questions so this is the the statement actually we, uh, this is you should consider this as the data for eighth and ninth questions so here they have uh, makes made some mistake i think so here there should not be a uh, given space instead of that here there should be underscore symbol between these two so similarly for this option also so when you do like that you will get the answer so when i did this i have got only first option so there may be more than one option also possibility but i, I have got first option as correct answer guys if you feel there should be any uh, another answer for this also you can please give your comment in the comment section but i have got only first option now let's move on to the ninth one so choose the correct command to access the element tamil in the data frame student data so here they have given uh, the a table name correct student data they they have properly placed the underscore here but they lagged it here right so when i did this i have got the answer as third option student data of 3 4 so now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one the 10th one the command to check if a value is of a numeric data type is so what is that guys the answer is second option is dot numeric so it will return true or false whether if it is a numeric type or data it will return true otherwise false so mark second option as correct answer for 10th and final question so friends these are the solutions for week 1 assignment of data science for engineers course so hope this video helpful for you If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and share this with your friends. So please uh, spread the word with your friends and classmates within your student group, so that it should reach each and everyone, and everyone will get benefited through this. So keep supporting like like this. So until then, be safe, be happy. Thank you. Bye.